it's Sherelle here, and if you're new to my channel, that's who I am. March 20th marks the first day of spring, and I have been looking everywhere, online, Etsy, Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, for a beautiful full tulip wreath. And I have found them, but I did not agree with the price tag of 60 plus dollars. So I told myself, since I want it, I think I need to make one. So I went to Michael's and you guys, I went to Michael's on a great day. They had to buy one, get one for tulips. Ended up spending $21.31 and I bought nine bundles of tulip and a grapevine wreath and a ribbon. This is the final, can you get it in the camera? I'm in love with it. I really wanted a purple wreath. I think later on what I'll do is I'll probably go to Hobby Lobby or Michaels or even Dollar Tree and find a nice sign to go on the side here. Or just maybe I might put our last name, get a T, because our last name starts with T here. I don't know, but so far, you guys, I like it. If you want to learn how I make this wreath, keep on watching. To make this simple wreath, you are going to need wire ribbon, tulips color of your choice, a grapevine wreath, I'm using an 18 inch, glue gun, wire cutters, and pipe cleaners. To create this simple bow, what I did was I pulled some of my ribbon and I made a loop. Once you make your first loop, it's going to determine the size of your entire bow, however, I actually wanted my third and fourth loop to be slightly bigger than my first loop. To create the second loop, what I do is I twist the ribbon so the pattern is on the right side. the process by twisting and gathering. Once I do that, I, as you guys can see right here, that I'm taking a long look just to make sure that is at the size that I want it to be. To secure the bow, I'm going to take pipe cleaner and I'm going to wrap it around the ribbon. Once I wrapped it, I'm going to cut the ribbon. To cover the pipe cleaner, I'm going to take a piece of ribbon and I'm going to fold it in the middle so that the lace is showing and then hot glue it onto my bow. Once I cut off the excess ribbon, I then attach it to my ribbon. Then I fluff up my bow, and now I can begin adding the tulips. Pre-cut my stems and what you see me doing here is pulling up the leaves all the way to where it meets the tulip before attaching it to my wreath. Thank you. 
it's okay if you end up having to trim down your stem because it protrudes a little bit out on the back of the wreath. I focus on adding the darker color tulips to my wreath first and then accenting it with the lighter color tulips. This is the beauty that I love working with artificial flowers. I can take off one flower and add another and then stick it to the reed just to kind of get the color and the dimension that I'm looking for. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same process that I did to the top of the bow to the bottom. So like anything when creating, sometimes you have to stand up just to make sure that you're adding the pops of color that you want to your wreath. So I'm going to give some ducktails to the end of my tails on my bow, but you guys don't do what I did. Get you some sharp scissors, honey bunch of oats to cut your ribbon. Don't struggle like I did. It's not that serious, but I was just too lazy to get some sharp scissors, but you know, it just is what it is.
Alright guys, and happy spring. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, stay beautiful.